In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit an image in Microsoft Edge. So I'm in the latest version of Microsoft Edge. So the version number is 115.0.1901.188. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to uh, some site. So be a Microsoft.com. Okay. And in this web page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some image. So I like this image. So what I'm going to do, I just do a right click. When I do a right click, I will be presented with an option to edit an image. I will click on edit image and a screen will appear, which will allow me to edit some uh, contents within the uh, image. Uh, now, the first thing what I can do is like in this page, I can do a crop. I can do the crop, I can do a vertical crop, I can do a horizontal crop. So that's how I can do the cropping. I can even drag or use arrows to rotate the image. Okay, so if I want to rotate it by say minus 3.3 degree, or maybe I want to rotate this image maybe to 5.9 degree. Okay, so I can even do that. Now, there is an option to rotate the image 90 degree clockwise or maybe do an anti-clockwise, like a 90 degree counterclockwise. Even I can do that. Now there is an option to flip the image horizontally. I can do this. And there is an option to flip the image vertically as well. So now I have done a lot of cropping transformations. Let's move on to adjustment. So on the top menu, you'll see adjustment. I click on adjustment. I can increase the brightness, maybe reduce the exposure, increase the contrast, do something with the highlights, put some shadows, put some vignette, uh, saturation, warmth, and so on and so forth. So what I can do, uh, uh, like most with the images, I can do it over here, okay? Now, uh, on the top menu, I can go into filters and I can apply some filters. So if I, uh, I have a predefined set of uh, templates available over here, uh, I can click on Vivid Cool and I can get that, uh, uh, filter applied to that image. I can even reduce the intensity if I don't want that much. Uh, or maybe I can change it to a completely different tone or less calm. Okay. And again, I can change the intensity. In markup, what I can do is I can select a pen and I can start scribbling over. So maybe I'll just write something. Okay. Or maybe I can point something. Uh, but if you want to point using some arrow, then what you can do is like you can select an arrow over here. Okay, so any line you drag, it will be automatically converted to an arrow at the end. So I'm just convert. I'm just dragging this element, and then if you see the end, it is showing me this arrow. Now I can have a double pointed arrow just to show the width of this Xbox. So if I just drag this line, it will show me this arrow linked. Okay, so it's a double sided arrow. <coughs> I can even change the color of the pen. Uh, I can add another pen with a different color and then I can do all sort of things. I can uh, highlight uh, some of the components within the image. I can change the color of the highlights. Maybe I want this color uh, and then I can erase individually. So if I don't want this markup, I can remove this markup selectively or maybe if I click here, I can clear all the ink strokes. Okay, so let me add some, some strokes randomly. Um, okay, now you can also zoom in, zoom out from here on the top menu, and you can reset. If you click on reset, all your changes will be undone, okay? And you can also undo individual steps. Lastly, but not the least, click on save. You can copy this image to the clipboard, or maybe you can just save this image. If I click on save, this image will be downloaded with some name. You can rename that image, and once you open that file, you will see the edited image. So. This is how you edit an image in line within Microsoft Edge browser. Thanks for watching.